Hey folks, welcome to the Camping Post. In this video, we are going to talk a little bit about water condensation in our fresh water holding tank. So stay tuned. <music> So here's what we discovered about condensation in our freshwater holding tank. So we recently did a video on how to winterize your RV water lines using antifreeze. Uh, part of the prep for that is draining all of the water out of your system. Um, after our last trip, we had drained the water after we parked at the house uh, with the intention that we were going to be going back out camping soon. Uh, however, with an upcoming cold spell, we were in a hurry to winterize the line, so we just went ahead and did that. Uh, while doing this, we had noticed that there was a fair amount of condensation on the top, hanging out on the top of the fresh water tank. Uh, and after winterizing, we left the low point drain open uh, for the tank, so hopefully that, that water would dry out of the tank. It did not. When we first bought our Soul Dawn, it was used and there had always been what we thought was sort of a black mold material on the top of the tank. We cleaned it several times, yet the black marks never came off. I think we're either going to have to replace the tank at some point or maybe put a hatch on top so that we can reach in and clean that black stuff off. Uh, so the last thing that we wanted was to create more of these black spots on the inside of our water tank. The first idea was to blow some air into the tank to try and dry it out. So I grabbed our air pump that we use for blow up mattresses and attached a hose to the exhaust side to create a blower and then inserted that hose into the fill line for the water tank. And right there is my Intex air pump powered by my Alloway power box. And there's the hose going into the fill line. Duct tape. Lots of duct tape. So we blow the air through the tank and out the overflow and out of the floor drain and I hoped that that would generate enough air to dry it out. That did not work. So the next attempt I pulled out the wet dry vac, the shop vac, and tried sucking out air and water through the bottom of the exterior floor drain of the RV. When I started doing this, I could hear water coming into the wet dry vac and running through that line. So apparently, uh, not all the water had drained out of our water tank, specifically maybe not on the bottom of the tank, and that's why that condensation was still in the tank. We've got air coming in through this, here probably also this, which is your overflow, and trying to suck any water out of here, down through this pipe, this is on, that is off, which goes to the water pump here, and I think there's just a level of water down here we can't seem to get out. Hopefully we get rid of some of this condensation in here. It looks like a fair amount has gone out. So after using the wet dry vac to suck the water out of the bottom of the tank through the low point drain on the exterior of the RV, we actually did get a fair amount of water collected into the wet dry vac. Unfortunately, I should have probably emptied that wet dry vac uh, before I sucked that water in. There was a bunch of uh, carpet scraps, carpet padding scraps in there. And if you're a Star Wars fan, this may remind you of some old Star Wars memorabilia. The wall! Don't moving. just stand there, try and brace it with something! And as I thought about this more and more, I determined that we usually will open the low point drain on the way back from a trip for the freshwater tank 
And what happens there, the movement of the camper on the road will typically move that water out of the tank while going down the road. Uh, the drain for the tank is on the side, so you got your tank and the drain is on the side, so it doesn't really get all the water out unless you tilt it this way or you have movement to push that water out the low point drain. Take this opportunity to learn from our mistake and open the low point drains on your fresh water tank uh, when you're at the dump station or when you're leaving the campground and let that water run out as you drive down the road. Uh, this will help get the residual water out of that water tank system. So we've blown out the tank, sucked out the tank, and driven down the road with the floor drains open. That seems like that got out most of the water, but we still do have condensation on the top of the tank. Uh, and for the research, it seems that it's expected that you cannot get out all of the water from your fresh water tank and the only options are to sanitize sanitize and sanitize your fresh water tank throughout the season uh, this doesn't seem to be something that was done by our previous owner uh, so we're potentially considering installing a marine style hatch on the top of the fresh water tank uh, to allow us to clean the inside what are your thoughts leave your comments below thanks for watching and keep on camping. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications.